What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Today is March 10th, which is Andrew's birthday. Super exciting. Not doing anything too crazy, but I woke him up with a nice little card. And um, for his birthday present, I got him a trip to the Physique Summit, which is in May. It's May 5th and 6th, and it's like a bodybuilding conference. And that's in St. Louis. So that was my birthday present to him. So I printed out like the itinerary just to remind him <laughs> that I had gotten him that. Um, and then I also included like a few pictures of cake so he could choose which kind he wanted me to make him. He chose marble and I will be making that for him on Sunday when we're gonna have like a little get together with friends. And that'll be fun. But it's about two, no, 1.30 p.m. and I'm still in my pajamas, but don't worry, I've been busy all morning. One of the things I did this morning was book a trip to Germany. I know I said in my last video that I wasn't traveling for a while, but plot twist, I'm going to Germany next month. Um, I'm going April, I'm leaving April 3rd, I'll arrive in Germany April 4th, and then I'll be working the FIBO Expo, which is in Cologne, the 4th through, or I mean the 6th through the 9th, and then Valentina and I are probably going to adventure around Europe and be little fitness gypsies for a few days, so I don't have a return flight booked yet, but I'm sure it won't be too excessive, so yeah. That's what's going on. Today is going to be a fun adventure. I am going to the gym. I know I haven't put any like workout footage in a vlog super recently, but um, Gold's is really strict about filming, so that's one reason. Another reason is it's really hard to get good footage when you're by yourself. So I'm going today with Andrew, and he's going to get some footage for me. I just finished taking some photos for PE Science. Needed some pictures of the Select Cafe protein, which is bomb. It's uh, 20 grams of protein with 100, 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. And we have like vanilla, vanilla frappe, uh, caramel macchiato, and mocha. And then we just got these tumblers in, so we needed pictures of those for the website and social media. I know it's a tough job, but someone has to do it. This is delicious, by the way. Really good alternative to like Starbucks wraps and kind of sugary drinks like that. Or just a good alternative to a protein shake if you also want a little pick-me-up from the caffeine. 30% off code is always Marie. All of my discount codes are always in the description. Um, I don't like repeating them a million times in my videos because that feels very like forced to me. But just know if you ever are looking to get something discounted, all of them are in my description box um, below. So check that out if you want some deals. I'm gonna drink some of this, get ready for the gym, which I just need to change basically, and probably put a bra on. <laughs> and then we will be headed out for some max testing. Interesting, huh? Say hello to the vlog. Hi. Yes, hello. Eating some honeycombs pre-workout for some carbs. And honeycombs are really good cereal for volume because also team samoas where the frick is the front <laughs> team samoas are the best girl scout cookies ever comment below if you agree or whatever your favorite is let me know wow this is magical see samoas are blessed by the heavens but honeycomb one of the best cereals in terms of macros and volume like you get one and a half cups per serving and that's 28 carbs whereas a lot of cereals is like three fourths cup for that so we're gonna eat that, put some shoes on, and head to the gym. Also, shout out to my boo, Amanda Bucci, for the Ignite Your Fire teas. Pre-workout today is going to be two-thirds scoop prolific. Do you like how I did the little like mise en place, how like chefs set up all their ingredients first? It's basically the same thing. One scoop true creatine, which I take every day. Ooh. And then a heaping scoop of amino IV. This is like a really random flavor combination. Strawberry breeze with sunrise, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. Just gonna drink this on the way to the gym. Morally obligated disclaimer. Do you need this stuff? No. Does it help? Yes. Especially if you already have your diet and your training in check. Supplements can absolutely help you, but they're not necessary. So, if you have the budget and desire to take them, do so. Save some dollars with my code. If you don't want to use them or don't have the budget, don't worry about it. Just keep working hard, eat right, eat your veggies, and you'll be fine. 
Oh, hey, nice hat. Thanks. He's mad because we were just talking about how he has to get his little pom pom snipped off soon. <gasps> oh no, Ollie, your window! <laughs> oh my God. It's like, hey, what does this part? Oh, mail. It's your birthday oh. present. Oh, yeah, YouTube, tell Andrew happy belated birthday. He's 25. Basically 30. You're it's old. The same thing. But... We'll miss you. <laughs> That's what we do. Hi, Nugget. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, babes. <laughs> Get <all this. laughs> it's so cute. Oh, oh, he did it. He's gonna miss you. Like Bye, He's Mom. See you April 2nd. Pencil me in, please. I will. <laughs>up guys welcome to the workout today we're gonna do a full voiceover and I'm gonna go over every single exercise that we did so starting off with bench press I actually tested my one rep max which you'll be seeing but these first couple clips are just warm-up sets you'll notice a couple things first of all is the arch in my back I got a lot of comments on this bench video I posted on Instagram but it is 100% safe, 100% effective, and it actually helps you move more weight. Um, I will link a really good article about it below. It's a little like too much to explain just for the voiceover, but I will link an article if you have any questions about that. And then I also wanted to show you put me putting on my wrist straps. These are from Slingshot. Um, there are a ton of different types of wrist wraps. I really like these, but it's not super crucial what kind you get. This just protects your wrists when you're doing heavier pressing movements. So since this was a strength-based day, I did wear these just as a precaution, keep my wrists nice and stable. And yeah, so this next set was a 105 pounds. So once I did my warm-ups, I just did singles and worked up from there. This is 115, little bit of a grinder, and then I decided to go for 120. You'll notice that I am doing a pause at the bottom, and that just eliminates any momentum you might be getting, any stretch reflex, and I think is a better indicator of your actual strength. I'm also using some leg drive, which means my feet are firmly planted and I'm pressing through my heels without letting my butt leave the bench. And this is again, another tactic to just lift the most amount of weight possible. If it's not for chest hypertrophy, it is simply to test my bench strength. So I ended up hitting 120 and I'm pretty happy with that considering I have not done much bench, bench pressing or bench strength work in a while. So 120 is a good, good spot to be at. I would say I have a goal to get stronger right now. So that's kind of my baseline. But after we bench press, we moved on to some barbell overhead presses um, for like five to seven reps. You'll see I like to keep the bar right on top of my wrist. That just helps keep your wrist safe as well. I forgot to put my wrist wraps back on but I should have worn them for these two. Other cues for this movement are to keep your rib cage tucked down and core engaged and then keep your glutes activated and be in like a power stance. Oh my god that girl in the back did you just see that? Like go girl you you get down with your bad self in the gym. I appreciate people that can have fun while they work out but anyways um doing overhead press. Here's an example of Andrew doing them. As you can see, we bring it down by cocking our head back and then push our heads through at the top. And this just ensures that everything is in an optimal position. Like you're at your strongest when the barbell is centered over you. So that's why you should push your head through. What you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna do a muscle up. Brandon. Move this one way too. Up. Again. Up. 
Nice. <laughs> it's so slippery. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> One of you has to film. You want to film this? Yeah. Okay. You can film. How, how can I tell other people to try new things at the gym if I won't try new things at the gym? Solid point. Yeah. That's yeah. Solid. All right. Maybe enough. It's hard <laughs> You can you can do a pull up, right? Yeah, just like two though. I'm gonna lift you up. That's enough. I'm gonna lift you up and down, okay? Ready? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle up. <laughs> you look like a you look like a cat that fell off the ledge and like barely caught himself. <laughs> So that was embarrassing, but back to the voiceover. After those failed attempts at muscle ups, at least my failed attempts, we did some more shoulder stuff. These are Arnold presses with a resistance band around my wrists. I saw these on Instagram the other day and I wanna try it and I actually really liked it. It helped kind of engage the medial or outer delt a little bit more. The Arnold press is great in general, but this just kind of added another degree of difficulty. I wouldn't do that unless you feel like you've mastered the Arnold press um, in its original form first, but it's fun to add stuff like that from time to time. After that, we moved on to some lateral raises Drew is demonstrating. We like to do these very slow and controlled. I like to do a pause at the top and use some lighter weight sometimes, which is what he's doing. The lateral raise is not going to be a strength-based movement most of the time. The delt is a tricky muscle to target, so you really need to lock down your form, keep everything engaged, and make sure you're hitting your delt and not your trap. A um, couple tips for that are to do it seated. First of all, then you can't use momentum. And then also think about like shoving your shoulder blades down and back and that'll try to keep your um, traps out of it if you keep your shoulder blades stabilized. Another cue that really helps me is thinking about pushing my hands out and away from my body rather than pulling them up. Um, the more you think about going outwards, like down and outwards, the better you're going to be hitting your delts and avoiding those pesky traps. Last exercise were these alternating bent over rear delt flies. I like to not go all the way to the middle and keep some tension on that rear delt but that's gonna wrap up this workout. We didn't do too many exercises, but we did quite a few sets of each, so it was a really, really good workout. Look at the card Drew's parents got him for his birthday. It says, birthdays are like workouts. The higher the count, the harder they get. And they sent Ollie some cat toys. You like them? Post-workout meal is snacking on some strawberries while the rest gets ready, but in the air fryer, I have some sweet potato, and grilled chicken, both from Bite Meals, both delicious. I even love the sweet potato, like cold, because it's roasted with like a little cinnamon, I think. All done, pretty small and simple meal for post-workout. We got protein and carbs. Also did some hit on the spin bike after I wish I would have showed y'all my bun because it had gotten out of control. But after this, we are gonna change, shower, all that good stuff, and then head out and get some ice cream. So that's why this meal is pretty simple and small, um, but don't worry, I'll make up for it later.
home from Salt and Straw and we're picking out a movie slash show to watch. I think we're gonna get back on the office train. We were watching that for quite a while back in Minnesota and then just kind of like forgot about it once we moved. But we're gonna watch a few episodes of that. Salt and Straw was bomb. The, babe, what was the cinnamon one called? Cine Cinetopia. Cinetopia was like insanely good. So if you're, if you're in LA or Portland, definitely check that one out. So I highly recommend that Salt and Straw and then like Ample Hills are my top two gourmet ice cream places I've ever been to. And that is going to conclude the vlog. A sweet ending once again. We're gonna get cozy and watch The Office. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about the workout and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.